Hello everybody, this is Kim Langan and I'm here to teach you today coins and again how to add and how to figure out how, what, what money you need and what change you need. So sometimes you'll go to the store and you will see that your parents will give cash. When they give cash for let's say the groceries, then people will give them change back. And if it says that they need let's say 30 cents back, and the person giving the change back has to look at the types of coins they have, so they have different types of coins, and they have to figure out what makes 30 cents. How can I give 30 cents back rather than 30 pennies? And if you don't have pennies, then, then what else can you use, all right? And if you do have pennies, 30 pennies is a lot to count. So there's faster ways to do it. So we're going to look at how to make 30 cents today from three different coins. The first coin you're going to use is a five cent coin, and the second coin is a 10 cent, and the third is a 25 cent coin. So if you, if you don't have cents, if you have shillings, you can think of it that way as well. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's the same idea. How do you make 30 of these coins, all right? So let's look at, um, let's look at the very first one. This friend with the um, bow tie, he has three or she has three coins. Now, so let's just write the three, we have to write the three coins down. We have to figure out what the three coins are. If the three coins, well, let's start with the five. If the three coins were five cents, you would have five plus five plus five. So let's do that together if you have five plus five plus five. That would be five, 10, 15. Uh, that doesn't give you 30. Okay, let's try again. So it has to be bigger, which we thought anyway. So if you had 10 cents, let's try that. So you'd have a 10 and a 10 and a 10. So that would be 10, 20, 30. Oh, good for you. Okay, so it's all the same coin. So let's do the 10 cent coin. So it's a 10, a 10, and a 10. That's what that person has. Okay, now let's look at this next one. And this person, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this one last because the person with a bow in their hair, they have two coins, and that's a bit tricky. Let's go to the last one first, okay? This guy with a top hat, or this girl with a top hat, has six coins. So we know it's going to be six coins. Now, if you know that three coins or 10 cents makes 30 cents because it says they have 30 cents each, then it will have to be, if there's six of them, it will have to be smaller than the 10 cents. All right, it has to be smaller because um, if it was bigger and you had six coins and they maybe even different ones, um, the six coins would be way too big. That would be a huge number. And so you need a whole, because six bigger coins makes a bigger number. If you have six coins that are smaller than 10, then that could equal the same 30. So let's look at that, it has to be smaller than 10. So we're going to pick the five because that's our only option. So if you've got a five cent, let's just write these down and let's count them together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we said that they each is going to be five, 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 five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so you've got 30 cents that works. Now, you can think of this another way too because look at this. Look at the relationship between this and this. Up above it was 10 cents and there is 10 cents. 5 and 5 is 10. So you've taken half of 10 and you put that in. So 5 and 5 is 10. 5 and 5 is 10. Isn't that neat? Okay, so that's why you have, there's only three coins here and double the amount, six coins here, because each of these, you need two of these to make one of those. Hmm. So there's lots of patterns, lots of things you can see with money and numbers. All right, so if you're at the cash register, would you want to give that person three 10 cent pieces or six five cents? Probably it's faster to get the three 10. But this person has even a better idea. They only have to give 
two coins to make 30. Hmm, what did they do? Well, you know that 10 and 10 don't, doesn't work. Five and five doesn't work. Hmm, so if you had a 25 and you had another 25, 25 and 25 is 50, that's too big. That doesn't work. So that doesn't work. Huh, you have a 10 you could put with that. What's well, 25 plus 10 more? 35, good for you. That doesn't work, we need only 30. So the only other option, 25 and five. And 25 plus five is equal to 30. So good for this person. They figured it out with the fewest number of coins. They figured it out with the most number of coins. And this person figured it out with the middle number of coins. When you're at a cash register, would you want to do the most number of coins or the least amount of coins? Most people like the least amount of coins. Maybe you like the most amount of coins because you like to have lots of coins in your purse or your wallet. Okay, so this is for you to figure out how to give change back. So always look at the money and look at what is happening, not just trying to, trying, well, let's try the tens and let's try the fives. Actually start combining and see if you can figure out the least number because sometimes that's the trickiest one to do. Okay, have fun with this.